It's after midnight in Newquay, a town with a well-deserved reputation for summer fun. And as drinkers spill out of the pubs into the street, it's easy to see why. By the early hours, the first signs of overindulgence are there, semi-conscious in the street. Most will slide away home and nurse hangovers in the morning. But for a minority, drunkenness regularly leads to criminal activity. And it's those people that the new booze asbos are aimed at. It won't work in 100% of the cases, but for some people it's entirely appropriate to confront them with their behaviour in the hope that we can change their behaviour. The drinking banning orders might be used to bar an individual from particular pubs or venues, make it an offence for an individual to drink in public, and order a person to attend a positive behavioural course. Nice easy question to start off with, Group 1. Active ingredient of an alcoholic drink. This course in Bristol is for convicted drink drivers. A similar process awaits people given a booze asbo. Helping participants to understand their problem enables them to change their behaviour and they'll be expected to pay the cost of it themselves, anything up to £250. Now we've got a real opportunity to get out there and, and get a, a, a balanced message out there. Nobody's saying you shouldn't drink, but it's about drinking responsibly at the end of the day. Critics say existing ASBO powers already cover alcohol-related behaviour, and campaigners claim the SBO's new policy is no more than a gimmick. But police and local authorities say they welcome anything that can reduce the kind of scenes that have become all too common on British streets. Enda Brady, Sky News.